Blue Blue Purple. 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 I don't know what you're talking about. You're watching Elevator. This your man's. This your man's. Bro, I just found like two hundred dollars in my pocket. He dead ass dude. It's dead ass lit. I I just found this like. This is little money to us. Yo, what? What's funny? You starting now? Yeah, we just, we just get ready to dress. Right. Hey, you know, Raw Hot Fest, LA, we out here, 420. I'm high as fuck. Fuck that fat nigga talking to the camera. Fuck my dick, actually. Yo, yeah. daddy dick. Fuck it! I am from South Florida, Broward County. Broward County? Pumping it. Yeah, we, we, in, we be everywhere. Pumping no slash D so we be at, we be everywhere. We be everywhere now. We pump with you too. Bay County. Bay really County, stuff. yeah, but Broward mainly. Yeah, that's what we That's our city. It wasn't totally hard because your parents is there, but your parents is not totally there for like either one of us. So it's like, it was hard. We had to make it on our own. They kicked us out. Basically, it was like, fuck it, we finna run it up. We met in jail. We met in jail. And the last met in jail started rapping together type shit. Shit, shit was rough, bro. On us. Parents, parents is some fuck niggas. That's what I gotta say. <laughs> My mom don't like me. Yeah. We, we flexing on them though. Yeah. Shine. <laughs> I don't flex. I don't got no muscles. I'm skinny. What's wrong with him? Oh, it's a B. Oh, oh, oh. Back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's my cue. No, 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 no. Don't hit that nigga. Don't hit that nigga. We was gonna jump that nigga. Chilling. He's All right, let's go. Niggas. Let's go down there. We on the block on his ass. <laughs> We gotta get into the interview booth. We gotta feel it, we gotta feel it. Alright, let me get into this. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Ooh>, stop? Dude. <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> no, bro, bro, County. Like, alright, where? Alright, Broward County, Broward County. Where do I put this? Alright, so I was like raised. Like, basically, I was born. I, I found out I was born in Plantation Hospital. But like I was born in like Pompano, yeah. I was raised yeah, I was yeah, I was raised in like Pompano, um, and fucking North Lauderdale. After I like moved out of Pompano and stopped being in that area, we went to North Lauderdale. I went to Broadview, got kicked out of Broadview. Then we went to uh, I went towards like the Lauderdale area, and then once I went to the Lauderdale area, I started living with my grandma. But like before then, I was just getting like a lot of trouble type shit, just getting kicked out of shit, fading niggas. My mom kicked me out and was just like, yo, I can't deal with you type shit. The only reason I don't talk about my age is because like I feel like like the younger you are or when you you put a topic on your or you put a pin on your on your age it's like putting a pin on your knowledge. Yeah. So if you don't know how old I am, for all you know I could be 35. For all you know I could be fucking 15. For all you know I could be 19, 18, 16. You feel me? Like the older I feel like the older you are is more quote unquote you have knowledge. But I feel like I have far more knowledge than anybody that's like 45. You feel me? Because I've been through a lot. I've experienced a lot. I feel like knowledge comes with experience. So I feel like telling a nigga I'm this age will be this nigga all like oh yeah he's a yeah, he's a young cat mm -hmm. I, I can little brother this nigga you feel me I, I got more knowledge than this nigga I've been in the game longer like oh, I've been through more so I don't like to put a pin on my on my age because it's like putting a pin on my knowledge so I just tell niggas I'm 300. <laughs> as far as my music like what I'll do is like I'll, I'll try and mix multiple aspects into it so like I'll go from like literally like and melancholy indie sound of rock to like a very trap element or like a trap rock element then I'll go to like completely like some other shit like some jazz like smooth going shit you feel me like I'll try and literally miss in as many aspects as I can and then like him he's just wavy as fuck like he he's just a jiggy nigga like he's the type of nigga you want to listen to when you want to get happy you feel me like you want to turn up like you get off of molly you get lit to yeah. some ski mess you feel me? <laughs> like me like yeah. I just I try and do everything type shit you feel me like and like it's just versatility I and mean, he's we're both versatile Literally. People have this these fake personas and they have these and they have like a real like oh like I'm trying to get into character persona. Like as far as my persona, I mean I go from a, a reckless not giving a fuck to like speaking way too much and saying the wrong like saying the wrong but right things in a in a very abrupt but loud way. Then I'll go to like literally saying nothing and being very scarce with my words and saying very little and it meaning a lot. So like as far as my persona, like, it's everything to me. I guess you could say, like, 
literally everything to me because without a persona, you're nobody. If you don't have a personality, you're nothing. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I, I definitely like people hate, but I have far more support than than hate. On in all honesty, and I don't mean to sound like an asshole when I say that. It's like it's literally because. People, I do the things that people won't say. I do the things that people won't do. Like, I'm, nobody else will go on Twitter and, like, be reckless and be like, yo, I'll rape you, nigga. Like, I'll fuck you up or some shit. You feel me? Because, like, they feel like, oh, they're going to worry about their charges or their parents. or. But I don't really give a fuck because I have nobody. And I'm going to speak for people that can't speak. You feel me? So, like, that's what I try and do. But Ski, like, Ski keeps me, keep, Ski keeps me calm. Like, Ski, like, is the one that calms me down. Kind of, like, even, like, the other day, like, a nigga pulled the strap out. And I was going to beat his ass. And then Ski, like. <laughs> He was keeping me calm. He was grabbing me, like telling me calm down and shit. Cause at the end of the day, niggas want to sue and do all this extra shit. So like, it's a little bit more than just us now. Like we gotta realize it. So it's like, I'm still a real person. I still have emotions. I still get out of character. But the the bit like, like getting into character and like be creating this artist is literally like the death of my name, my real name, or the death of my government name, or the death of who I was. It's like becoming an artist. You have to abandon everything. You just have to become. It's a totally different character. So the more I, I turn into that is the less I give a fuck about anything going on around me. I'm just my baby. Not at all. It'll it'll turn me into someone that's less considerate of other of other people because the more the more considerate I am, the more people get over on me. The more considerate is the more people feel like they can hey hit this nigga up anytime they want and and do all these things that are that are what a regular person would do, you know? I'm still a person as I said, but I still have a worth to me, you know? And I can't detest my worth for anybody else. But as far as like becoming an asshole, I won't be an arrogant person. I will never be like a fucking prick, but I, I have to I have to get into character. Literally. I can't just help everyone forever. But while I can I will. Literally. Movies. I like Dog Pound, Treasure Planet, um this is a hard one. I like this one. I like this one. Um Dog Pound Treasure Planet. Uh, you name some of your favorites too. I don't even know. There's like a whole bunch. Of, I just like American Horror Story. Anything that's creepy as fuck or funny as fuck, that's what we watch. Oh, uh, <laughs> fucking um, The Exorcism of M Emily Rose is absolutely crazy, but phenomenal movie. Um, I love anything by Tim Burton, like The Nightmare Before Christmas, any Disney movie. I, I love cliche Disney movies because it, it it leaves me intact with my kids' side. You know, favorite Disney movie? Fuck, there's so many I that. I, that I literally can't think. Yeah, there's a lot of Disney movies that actually came out that I really can't name right now. <laughs> but if I watch them, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, I like... Uh, I like Monsters. Right? Monsters. That's what I was just about to say. Monsters. I love Monsters, Inc. Um, that's really it, to be honest. No, nah, bro, there's way more. Like, if we, to, we start Pixar? remembering them... Yeah. To Pixar, like... Pixar. Fuck. Right. The Pixar. Funny Nemo was great. Was Toy Shark Tale... Was Shark Tale a Pixar? Shark Tale... Shark Tale was my shit. Shark Tale was hard as fuck. I think Shark it was Tale Pixar. Was... Might have been. No, wait. I mean the cliche Basquiat. I don't even like to bring up Basquiat because everybody had a whole scene with him. You get me? Mm -hmm. But um, I mean Tim Burton also does artwork. Um, who else? There's a lot of there's a lot of artists I actually fuck with. I just I I don't have really a pin on them. I really like the um guy who's doing the designs for Thrasher so far. You know who I'm talking about? The new designer for Thrasher. I forgot his name, but he's coming out with a new line with the orange guy. He, I can, he oh, he's pretty as fuck. He has dreads. He has dreads, right? He has dreads. You know um, who I'm talking about. And he does like the he does like the childish cartoonish mm -hmm. shit. He, yeah. What is that nigga's name? That nigga's fucking sick. He's art. He's raw as fuck. We'll find him. We'll find him at some point in time. But that nigga's sick. Um, distorted is sick. She's cool. Yeah. I mean, the new age shit is, is is not as 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 classy or genuine as it was before, but like it's still hard. You get me? We usually fuck with people that we know. Like we know people, a lot of artists that do a lot of things. I mean Warhol. I fuck with Andy Warhol. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I um, who's the nigga that wrote this? He has that. He has the picture where the where the guys oh, like scream? this. Yeah, we're screaming. Scream. Yeah, no, no, that's no, that's the not his name. Oh. The guy who wrote it's like this. And yeah. it's like. Yeah, the painting. Scream. Yeah. Scream. That's the painting's name. I mean, I guess you could call it a tour, but it's like. I just haven't put any dates on anything, you know. Like I'll have I'll have shows in different states and shit, and I won't really say much because like I don't really have like everything I do. I'm my own booking manager. Like I do everything almost myself type shit. Like I do all the planning myself. You feel me? But like I don't have much of a I have 
How do we put it? Because we got a group of niggas. We got like 40, like 40 mm -hmm. to 50 niggas like working with us. Shout out 40. members only. Shout out members only. Shout out VR. Shout out 1990X, Bad Boys Forever, all that. Like, we got a, like a group of niggas, don't get me wrong, but like as far as the planning, I organize everything. So it's very hard to like take these dates and put them on anything if I feel like I'm doing it by myself, you know? So it's like nothing, I don't feel like I have to organize it. I feel like I just make the move. But once there's like an organized tour where like I, I'll do one with an artist or some shit, then yeah, most likely, like, most likely I do it, yeah. Watch that pussy nigga run when I oh, this is hell yeah. They're, they're talking about taking me to Japan, Switzerland. Um, as far as like, like globally I'm known, like I, I, I can't like be humble about it cause like globally, like I've checked my stats, my stats are there, but like I don't want to, I don't want to be the idiot to go when I'm not ready, you know, I don't like to, I, I barely like doing Florida shows cause I feel like you don't get used to this shit, like you always forget your, your worth, you feel me? Cause you feel like, you still feel like the same person and like me, I'm a loner, like I don't socialize, I don't know how to socialize, I'm not very good at it, I'm good at being social, but as far as like, Socialism, like, I'm not good at just going out randomly and speaking to random people, you know, like, it's awkward to me, it makes me feel uncomfortable, I guess, so, like, as far as, like, like, being global and, like, doing anything out of, out of the country, I just don't feel like I'm ready yet, but I'll wait, like, if they give me a good headline, I'll do it, for sure, but by myself, I don't, I'm not, I'm not ready yet, I don't feel like I'm ready yet. I hit on with the blade, not the strap. I, I've always wanted to go to Japan since I was, like, since... I was like six, kid. Like six, five. I thought Japan was cool. Like I love Asian women, love Spanish women. Like, bro, like, every yeah. Tokyo Drift. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, the Tokyo Drift movies, man. Every fucking Tokyo Fast Drift. and Furious movies. I That's what made it. me want to go to Japan. <laughs> yeah, fucking China. <laughs> fucking fool. Hey, get it. Hey, we just we just wing it. We just want to plot on some pussy. We get there, probably homeless for like two wing. days, get a hotel. <laughs> yeah, like we just be dumb with our shit. But we young niggas like that, like. I want to live. I don't want to like, like be bored when I go anywhere. I want to live it out. Be like, yeah, this shit happened. This shit happened. So I can tell my niggas stories. You feel me? And like that way, I, I acquire some sort of wisdom and be like, yo, you need to do this. But pre-planning is always like, it's always a, a, a forte. Is like, you need to be smart about. This that shit I wear my wrist and then I fuck you. Here, look here. We like the typical four local, you know? <laughs> I get my little Bud Light four on local, every night, you know what I mean? I, like, I get like, guy to get local. Sometimes when I'm with the females, strawberry Yeah, strawberry for me, get those panties <laughs> off me. I like, I like the Hanna scene for me. I don't, we only drink beer when we have to. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we only drink beer when we gotta turn up. Like, if, like I don't know, we, we like bitches sober, like low key, like we like girls sober, so that way, they know what they're doing. Like, you can't be like, oh, I was off the Zan when I yeah, fucked that nigga, you feel me? So, like, I used to be sober as shit, but, like, being around him enough, I smoke cigarettes, I smoke weed, I smoke sip beer, I sip, like, any lick that's around me, you feel me? So, I'll sip anything that's around me, so, I'm a young junkie, like, you pass me the wrong blunt, I might smoke some fucking crazy shit, you feel me? Like, lame. <laughs> so, now we, yeah, we, we'll sip lean time to time, like, yeah, to I don't know. Honest, yeah, that's yeah. about it. We get loose, we get loose, we, we get free. Yeah. Type of nigga to pop a molly and sweat. Type no shit. hard drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't do no crystal meth, no heroin. And we sure. do not promote doing drugs. Stay out of jail. Stay out of jail. <laughs> Go to school. <laughs> G shit. Stay on your P's and Q's like ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we oh, I hop. I hop. <laughs> we like IHOP. We eat at IHOP almost every fucking week. Yeah. yeah. No, we don't even really go and get pancakes. I'm yeah. usually the main one that pushes everybody to get like, like different shit. We go there and eat a nice big steak. This nigga always get a steak for no steak. reason, bro. When you go to IHOP, get you a steak. <laughs> Be fancy, baby. Outback Steakhouse? I have never. Mm. I have never. I In all the times that I've gone out and eaten, I've never had Outback. I've had Fridays. I've had. Is it Tuesdays? They have a fucking Tuesdays too, right? Yeah. <laughs> fucking Legron Le Huff. Legron Huff five. That's five as fuck. Um, Sabaros. Sub I do not like Chipotle. I don't know why people eat Chipotle. I'm it makes sorry. you shit. Sorry. <laughs> the, the South Park episode is real. It makes you shit blood. If they want to sue me, sue me. But that shit make you shit blood. Fuck Chipotle. <laughs> fuck anybody. We're gonna that get hella Chipotle. haters <laughs> for this shit. Light skin niggas look like Chipotle bags. That <laughs> 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 oh, Nah. Bro. Yeah. Fuck Chipotle. But um, my favorite restaurant. My favorite restaurant, it's actually a fast food restaurant. It's um Hooks. Hooks, um, fish, fish and chicken. That shit's so fly. If you go there, ask for extra seasoning. X recommends it. Just tell them X sent you. That shit's fly. That's Golden Crust. I want to get like a fucking investment by, by Hooks and Fish. They're mm -hmm. hard as fuck. And Golden Crust. Yeah, Golden Crust is hard too. Jamaican patties off the dick. Jesus Christ. Oh, and also get some um, Donna's. Donna's is one Donna's. of the best. Donna's, Donna's and Carl's Seafood is one of the Dutch best Jamaican places. I've never had Dutch Pot. Dutch Pot. Never. Dutch Pot. 
you ever seen a nigga hung with a gold chain? That is, you modified. That shit sound crazy. That sound like AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> I was like fucking AIDS waiting to happen. Don't, don't eat GMO. Dude, that yeah. shit sound crazy. Stay <laughs> away from gluten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, no, what the fuck is GMO? We don't know. Think about the people who own it. Fucking bomb, man. Bro, they're mad? Crazy. Did they're they make him black or no? Yeah. They made him black? So what's wrong with that? But what's wrong with people? People are weird. No, bro, you can't take a, a, a man's original face and then try and alter it. What the fuck? If he, if nigga, if he was black, make the fucking. Filter black, black. <laughs> like that's like all right. That's like me to so if we take Mariah Carey and make her multi fucking colored, niggas gonna look at us like, hey, that's racist. We don't have to bend Mariah. Oh, like, well, Mariah Carey's black. Fuck, never mind. If we take fucking who's white, if you take like if you take like an Asian person or, or like someone like Taylor Swift and then try and bend their fucking race, that's not fair. That's yeah. stupid. Yeah. So well, I, don't, I don't. What's wrong with people? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I don't support that. Yeah. No. Leave black, black Mar Bob Marley black. That's fucking weird. Yeah, Picture of Bob Marley smoking the hella blunts as a white guy. <laughs> I just can't. You can't at all. Can you picture him Asian? With dreads? I mean, there is Asian and white Jamaican people, to be honest. Yo, so you can't, a, like, really discriminate. I've never seen an Asian guy with dreads. Have you ever seen an Asian guy with dreads? I haven't. But, yeah, actually, maybe, maybe, maybe. Never. Ming. Mm. If we give Ming dreads, I'll kill myself. <laughs> oh, fuck. That shit would be so fun. Look, and I'm gonna go into the core of this shit. Black people want equality. Everybody wants equality. And then they try and make this black this black power and make equality a whole different privilege. You cannot be privileged. There is no privilege in equality. So you can't so if a if a fucking if a fucking asshole comes and arrests you and you think that cops are just all racist, cops violate everyone. If you were white, you were gonna be white. If you were black, you were gonna be black. Hate crimes are hate crimes. If you fu if that cop fucking hates black people, then you just so happen to get the hard end of the stick. You feel me? But in the end of the day, crime is crime, hate is hate. No, everything everything is what it is. But when you try and like, all right, if I go out and get arrested and I try and make it a, a black hate crime, like, oh, they arrested me because I'm black. That's not equality. That's me trying to be privileged by being black and playing the race card. So when people play the race card, you're fucking assholes. It doesn't make sense. If you want to be like everybody else, take the beating, take the bullshit like everybody else. You cannot be privileged because you're black. Just like a white person will probably get beat the fuck out of if they do some dumb shit. If you try and run from the cops, they're going to fucking tase you. Mm -hmm. If you try and fight the cops, they're going to fucking kill you. More likely because you're black because you look intimidating because black, some black people look fucking intimidating. If you look intimidating, they're going to try and beat the shit out of you. If you don't look intimidating, they're not going to touch you. They're probably going to treat you like a bitch if you're a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To be honest, and that's that's honesty. Shout like, out to Harriet Tubman. She shout out to Harriet Tubman. She about to be on a twenty dollar bill. She, she lit. Harriet Tubman. Hey, hey Terry uh -huh. Tubman. Yeah, hey, she about to be on a twenty dollar bill. <laughs> I really like that. To be honest, that's crazy. Black person on the money. That's fucking crazy. In America, I think that's also racist. <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like they're trying. I feel bro. like yeah. They I feel need like to, though. I feel, but I feel like when they when you break that like that even thing, you're like, all right, the niggas on the dollar bills were white. Let them have it. We don't uh, need a black we, guy. We do. And some type of money in America. That my, that's my opinion. It's not fair because they're trying to take the white they're trying to take the white man off the twenty dollar bill and put a black man. I don't find that as fair. The white man was there first. I find it fair because there always been white men on the fucking money. What, what, what about us? I can see, I can see, I can see but that. Then again, hey, man, make a make a six dollar bill and bitch and throw Harriet Tubman on that shit. Then again, there six. is a, there also is a problem with that because what about all the other races that probably want a dollar? Their, face, their race on money now. They're gonna be like, so black Damn. people get So we're just gonna have a fucking multi, multi racial ass <laughs> fucking currency system. I'm gonna have fucking Ching Chong on my <laughs> seven dollar bill. On my seven they need dollar to, bill. They need to make a fucking, uh, bro, they need to make everything uh, like a sort of dollars. Bro, I would love to have a red fucking dollar bill. I would be so fleet. Yeah. I would dead ass put all types of fucking money everywhere and decorate everywhere. the fuck out. Bro, my house would be filled with money. Literally, I wouldn't stop using my shit and just pin it on my walls. I'll get so robbed. Literally, I'll get so robbed. If they want to hear a crazy story, tell them about either one of the times we got jumped before. But it's not successfully jumped, but you feel me? We got mm. jumped before. I don't want to call on no names and that shit, though. No, I don't have to call on no names. But that's a good story, though. Huh? The second time was lit. Where you wrap that nigga head dreads around your head? I'll tell that story. <laughs> we had a, um, alright, so basically, like, 
I'm not gonna. I, I'm not the thuggest nigga. I'm not the biggest nigga. I'm not the strongest nigga. I'm not. I'm you feel me. I, I don't. I don't put power to like making myself seem hard as fuck. Cause in the end of the day, if someone like Mike Tyson or like some big ass nigga tries to like beat my ass, they probably will. I'll probably just stab the fuck out of him. You feel me? Stab him or shoot him. But uh, basically, niggas got these ways of like I guess seeing us and having some sort of intimidation or being some sort of envy or jealousy. You feel yeah. me? Like niggas have a weird way of being hoes. So. We went to a party one time. Some nigga tried to run my homeboy's pockets. So basically, fat, I had Fat Man run on the stage, beat this nigga up. I jumped over Fat Man, like, cause some nigga was trying to jump on my. Like, I'm gonna get in depth with it. So basically, all right, we go performing at the show. Mm -hmm. We get frustrated because they push our set time all the way back. So amongst like it being like the end of it, I realized that it was gonna they were gonna give us some whack ass set time. So I tell my dog, whoever ran your pockets, run up on the stage, slump that nigga. So he runs up on the stage. When I tell him to, he sticks this nigga. I see a nigga coming from the back. I jump over my homeboy's back, literally, and like, whap Beep. this nigga, like, <laughs> like whap him. So he, he like falls out type shit, and another nigga comes over and tries to grab me. So he's grabbing me and lifting me. So as soon as he does that, I grab his dress and like wrap it around my arm. And like while I'm wrapping this, like my arm around this nigga, I'm bing, bing, like fucking this nigga up. So then this nigga comes over come and then grabs me too. So it's like two niggas grabbing me and I'm fucking this nigga up. Like papping this nigga, papping this nigga. Waka, ka, ka. You feel me? This nigga's and in the air, mid air. Mid air, papping this nigga. Mid air. <laughs> bro. I'm, I'm in, I got this nigga in the air. The other niggas trying to lift him. So yo, these niggas is fading. <laughs> I've never seen my manager fight. Like I swore, like before then, bro, I swore I could beat up my manager. Like I swore on my dick. Like I was so sure. So then I see my manager come out of nowhere. Bing, <laughs> bing. Drop this nigga, bro. Yo, like two. this nigga. Uh, Hit him like a stiff, like, like I was like, whoa, <laughs> but hey, that ass, bro. This nigga, like, he, this nigga hit, put him in a coffin type Noodle. shit. Noodle. <laughs> this nigga, bro, I was like, whoa. Noodle. Yeah, I was like, yes, nice. Yeah, K O. <laughs> so when my manager fucking grabs me, cause he gets mad at me when I fight and shit. So he grabs me and pulls me outside, cause I get rowdy and shit. So yeah, that was one time where somebody tried to jump us at Blue House party. Whoever I beat up, I'm sorry. You feel me? I'm pussy now. I gotta be pussy because I got money. So yeah, if you see me on the street, don't beat me up. I'm sorry about beating your ass. <laughs> I approve this message. <laughs> I, yeah. I did a couple scenes with Bruno. Bruno Dickham, shout out Bruno Dickham, shout out uh, Groupie Lust. Shout out Becky the Groupie, follow Becky the Groupie on Twitter. Like, there's not much to it, bro. Like, when I was a kid, like, I always wanted to, I, I loved fucking, you feel me? I loved, I loved fucking bitches. Like, I just thought it was cool. Like, excuse my, excuse my language. I love, I love fucking females. And like, I thought it, I thought it was, I thought it was cool. Like, I thought it was cool to like, just fuck. Yeah, there's no other way, way to put it. Like, porn was, porn was my inspiration for a while. That's how I also what built my name, the XXX of my name. Like, a lot of, a lot of pornography or anything sensual or anything requiring nudity was always caught my interest, you know? Like, I didn't, I, I just thought it was cool. All right, I'm gonna shout out some motherfucking porn stars. This nigga's not in the porn game like this. Alexis Silver, my all-time favorite will always be Abella Anderson. I'm sorry that I named her in the middle, but Abella Anderson, um, Diamond Kitty. Yeah, Diamond Kitty's. Um, hmm, who else? Sally Squirt. Alexis Texas. Ale yeah. Alexis Texas. Um, Lisa Del Sierra. Oh yeah. Um, Lisa N too. Jada fucking Stevens. Jada fucking Stevens. Is that bitch, literally? Like she's tied with the Bella Anderson in my heart. Like mm -hmm. I would give my soul to those girls. Like literally, like. Huh. Too much. I'm depressed. Kim K also. Kim K. Hey, 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 she hey, a porn star. Hey, stop that shit. <laughs> Can't you see this shit? You're not gonna fuck with. Don't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, that ass. Don't do that. But yeah, yeah. Hmm. Who else? It's a few. It's that ass a few. Um, Jinx Maze. She's so fucking bad. Hmm. Um, I think that's about it. Asa, no, hell no. Asa Akira, <laughs> um, Mia Khalifa. Yeah, Asa Akira. Um, ah. Who else, bro? I'm a big porn fanatic. Asian bro. porn is just amazing. <laughs> literally, absolutely. I think it's literally just a tease. I think they do it on purpose. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's just like you don't see the gory part of it, so it just makes everything so more sensual. Exactly. But yeah, that's just for the weirdos. Like yeah. Japan, J Japan is so organized in everything they do, and they're, they're in a very different. Like to be honest, they're in a different time zone than us. Like they're way more advanced than us. Like down here in America, to exactly. be honest, they have even crazy with feelings. Shit. Even with feelings, like all right. Here's what I'll tell you guys. As far as like 
as far as even teasing, like my music has literally been a tease because like I've learned I've learned a lot of things from the Asian culture. I've learned a lot of things from even porn stars or people before me, you know, different artists. My thing is, what you literally need to do to remain like on top is tease the fuck out of everyone and never give them a nut. Like look at everything like a huge orgasm. Like all right, if you see this girl on the street, this girl gives you the attention that you crave. This girl fucks with you time to time. This girl kisses you, touches you, but never fucks you. Never gives you head, never gives you what you're craving, you know? You're gonna endlessly chase her. You're either gonna get frustrated and be like, oh, fuck that bitch, and da da da. Or you're gonna endlessly chase her because you're never gonna get what you want. And if you never get what you want, you're always gonna crave it. In the bottom of your mind, whenever the opportunity presents itself, you're gonna chase it. So, my thing is, like, if you have too much fucking ice cream, you're not gonna want any more ice cream. If you have too much of me, you're not gonna want too much of me. If you have too much of ski, you're not gonna want too much of this. So, too much of anything is a horrible thing. None of nothing, like, if you don't, if you don't supply and there's a heavy demand, when you drop anything or you give out, it's gonna mm -hmm. skyrocket. So, anybody that wants to be smart, zero supply, well, one supply, probably like 10,000 demand. Mm -hmm. Fuck the bitch with that. Fuck the bitch with that big ass fucking orgasm. Make sure you're not all in that bitch. When you're opportunity, everybody gets their chance. Look, everybody's gonna get their chance. Whether you play ball, whether you play football, whether you box, whether you wrestle, whether you fucking swim, whether you wanna be the next fucking Michael Phelps, you wanna be the next track star, you wanna be the next fucking guy that race races cars and shit. If you wanna design the best car, design the next fucking phone, design the next big laptop, the next shoe, the next sock, the next pants, the next fucking hat, everybody's gonna get the turn, literally. And I want everybody to, to, to acquire this knowledge and acquire this hope. Everybody will get the turn. What you speak to the world and craving is craving and, and ambition and wanting anything is, is the way to speak to the world. If you want something so bad and you speak it into power, you wish it into power, it's gonna happen. I'm first hand and I first hand will tell you that. And I put it my life on it. If you want something so bad, it will happen. I won't love, won't trust, I won't die. I can't feel you manage to steal your heart, love. Which is dark part, no fuck hearts, I want love. It seems that anything awful could be enough, but No, I don't I don't eat I don't, I'm um I'm low key like a carnivore. Well not a carnivore, like what is it where you eat humans? Cannibal. I don't I don't I don't eat food, like I don't eat regular food, I eat humans. Whose man's is this? You know this nigga lying. <laughs> I'm not lying, I, no, bro. Alright. When you both disappear after this interview, you don't wonder why. <laughs> See? Like, I don't know him. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm so serious. Y'all gonna die after this. Next interview. question. <laughs>